The legendary Ariaki Coliseum played host to Glory 13 Tokyo, which was live right here on Fight Network. The card featured a one-night welterweight title tournament, so let's start with the semifinals, where defending champion Nikki Holskin took on Armenian power puncher Karapet Karapetian. Holskin dismantled Karapetian from pillar to post, scoring knockdowns in the first and second rounds and brutalizing his legs with low kicks. Holskin cruised to a dominant unanimous decision to move on to the finals. On to the opposite side of the bracket where second-ranked Toronto native Joseph Bazooka Joe Valtellini squared off with American Ray Daniels in the other semifinal. Bazooka Joe is known for his leg kicks and he lived up to his reputation in this one, dismantling Daniels with brutal precision. Once he had the American worried about his battered legs, Valtellini went in for the kill. And he's made the trip to Japan as he watches his son deliver a couple of left hooks to the body. Daniels goes down following that kick and referee waves off the fight. It'll be the number two ranked Valtellini against the number one ranked Holskin in what should be a sensational final later tonight. The picture perfect KO sets up the final that everyone was hoping for. It's defending champion Nikki Holskin against top contender Joseph Valtellini for all the marbles. Bazooka Joe got to work with those leg kicks yet again while Holskin was throwing his punches with a lot of snap. Valtellini was answering back at every turn and the pace in this one was pretty ridiculous. Neither man was ready to back down and Holskin's power started to take a toll. He landed a big liver shot in the third round which Valtellini absorbed without even taking a knee. Holskin really started pulling away towards the end, but it looked like it might head to a decision. In the land of the rising sun, we are bearing witness to the fortunes rising for one. Who is going to walk away with the welterweight tournament title? Holskin drops Valtellini! Wow! Valtellini goes out on his shield as Holskin scores the emphatic late round knockout. The victory cements Holskin atop the welterweight standings as he takes his second straight tournament championship. That led right into an epic main event that saw the final bout of the legendary Peter Arts as he took on 24-year-old up-and-comer Rico Verhoeven. Arts was trying to leave it all in the ring right from the opening bell as he set a crazy pace, especially for a 43-year-old. Verhoeven started to answer back in the second with some powerful leg kicks that stifled the veteran's attack. The crowd was on their feet for Arts' final round as these two finished the fight with some wild exchanges. It would, however, go the distance where the judges had a tough time agreeing. Your winner by split decision Rico Verhoeven! Rico Verhoeven escapes with a split decision over the Dutch lumberjack Peter Arts, a man who has dedicated nearly 30 years of his life to kickboxing, a man who retires a legend. Arts passes the torch to the next generation as Verhoeven scores the split decision. He improves to 43-7-1 and, and notches his fifth straight victory. Also on the card was heavyweight superstar Daniel Gita, who faced off with Dutch Surinamese veteran Errol Zimmerman. These two squared off in K1 back in 2010, where Gita won by second round knockout, and he didn't want to give Zimmerman any chances at redemption. Well, I think he rocked him with the first head kick. He's going to the body. Oh, left hook to the head by Gita. Another left hook! Zimmerman goes down! Mamma mia! What a shot! Gita was all creepy looking smiles after this one and with good reason. That light switch left hook was his 50th career win. 